Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are doing our Mystical Motherhood series. I hope you guys are doing real good. I am doing great. I had a really good birthday weekend. Thank you guys for coming to my birthday stream. Thank you guys for all the nice birthday wishes on Instagram and Twitter. It seriously means a lot. I I cried a lot reading all your guys' comments are so sweet. But yeah, thanks for all the love. I appreciate it so much. Feels good to be back filming. I, ha I took a little break over the weekend where I didn't do any like any work or schoolwork or anything like that. And it just felt so good to do nothing. <laughs> I know you guys know how that is. But yeah, I'm stoked to be filming today. I built the Servo Baby's room and I also built the uh, Flower Bunny Baby room. I thought I would get a head start on that. I do have a Celsius today. I've got peach vibe. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Mm. That first sip feeling, you know? Also, I got some new background lights. Um, you guys saw on Twitch the other day, but this is my first time using them in a video. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments. I think they're pretty rad. They make my room feel really moody. Like uh, like I'm on another planet or something. I really don't know how to explain it. <laughs> also, one more update. I wanted to do a Let's Play with the Star Wars pack, but the more that I thought about it, the more that I'm thinking I'm not going to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I do want to play the pack. I just don't know if I want to, like, take time to make videos on it when I have my other Let's Plays. I'd rather do my other Let's Plays for sure than film, um, a whole new series about that pack, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there's like an overwhelming amount of comments of you guys asking me for a Star Wars gameplay series, then of course I'll do one. But, uh, so, I don't know. I kind of figured you guys wouldn't want that. A lot of people have been, uh, just ragging on this pack so bad, so. But yeah, guys, that's all the updates I have for you. I hope you're doing well. As always, I love you so much. Let's get into this episode of Mystical Motherhood. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, guys, so I thought we would start off this episode with some room tours, of course. I'll show you guys the Servo Baby's room, and I'll also show you guys the Flower Bunny room as well. I'm excited to show you guys this. I'm really, really, really happy with how they came out. I feel like I say this in like every episode. But yeah, I pretty much use everything from Get to Work. I also downloaded this like, it's called an eco-futuristic bedroom pack, which had a bunch of stuff in it, which is really cool. Here we are. It looks like Eve is already getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's a little overview of it. So these little headboard things are actually like alien portals that I thought fit nicely around the beds. We've got this like hover lamp here. We've got this laser show thing, which I thought was really dope. Um, the walls are just like these server room towers. I found that, I think they're from Get to Work, but I thought they would make a cool wall. So there's that. And then we've got a dresser over here with like some robot things, this cool mirror. I love these curtains. They're from that eco bedroom pack that I told you guys about. Oh, I need to move that chair a little over. Here's a little desk. I know that they're toddlers and they can't use the computer. What the? What's that doing there? That antler hanging thing's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I'll delete it. But yeah, here's, I know they're toddlers and they can't use the computer, but when they're teens they can, so I was just thinking ahead. Then we've got over here. So cool, guys. I'm so obsessed with this. We've got uh, just some other robot -y things. I don't know. I just threw whatever I found. This robot arm was cool. This is from Debug. But these little thingies over here are from Get to Work. They're an unlockable item from the scientist career. So I thought it would be cool to display some robots in here. So we've got a servo, we've got one of the chatter bots, but I sized it up to make it bigger. We've got just a little seating area here, a nice little geometric shelf, a robot decal. This bad boy right here is a CC dollhouse. Isn't this the, just the coolest dollhouse you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> So yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoy this room as much as I do. I'm absolutely obsessed, especially with the little display tanks there. So let's head on over to the flower bunny room so I can show you guys that. <laughs> Thank you, Eve, for opening the door for us. <laughs> I appreciate you. 
Dang, she's moving quick. What's up, Brenna? How you doing, girl? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's this way. Hi, Servo. You're looking quite happy. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but every bedroom has, it like, a, a, a door that corresponds with them. I thought that was kind of cool. It's kind of like a Nightmare Before Christmas when he finds all the holiday doors in the... Hey! You ruined it! Dang, Brenna. Thick. <laughs> okay, so here's the flower bunny room. It's so cute. It just makes me really happy just looking at it. Yeah, I... <laughs> I just tried to find every single bunny object there was in the game and put it somewhere. I use lots of flowery stuff, spring colors, uh, I have this bunny rug which I thought was really cute. Um, we've got this cool tree book house, I've used this a bunch of times but I absolutely love it. Got some swings in here, I thought that was kind of a cute idea. Um, this little area over here is just adorable and then when we turn around we've got the flower bunny himself. <laughs> so how I did this was, oh, Lucifer, aren't you cute? <laughs> uh, so how I did this was I got the mannequin from, I think it's Get to Work. And you can put any, any outfit you want on the mannequin. So I put the flower bunny outfit on, I thought it was quite fitting. And I love these barn doors as well. So cute. Um, and then over here we've just got a dresser, we've got the bunny uh, stuffed animal, of course. More flowers, this pretty mirror. Yeah. Lucifer does not fit in this room, like, whatsoever, but I love it. <laughs> so yeah, those are the changes that I made. Uh, yeah, Star Wars stuff. Thank you, thank you. So, I was pretty shocked at how many of you guys hate hated Maribella's hair. Um, that made me really sad because I love it. I feel it's important to represent all, everyone, um, and we do need to represent some natural hairs. That's just life, you know? So, yeah. That's why I didn't change it. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. It's amazing how setting light colors can change the look of an object. Like this candle had just regular white light before, but when you change it to red, it just looks so much cooler. So much cooler. Okay, so if you guys don't remember the last episode, my dog's on my bed and she's licking and it's really annoying. We were working on Lucifer and Marabella's reaping skill. So Lucifer is almost to level 5, so he's almost good. Marabella, is, she just leveled up to level 4. So we need to um, get to work on that. And then also in this episode, I wanted to have the flower bunny babies. Oh, there's a person. There's a person. Marabella. Oh no, it's Carlos. Oh no. This is Carlos's old, old sim self. Uh, from before CC was a thing. <laughs> so since Marabella has a lower skill, I'm gonna get her to um, kill him. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm killing Carl! That ain't cool. Maybe we should just make a hysterical joke so he can die happy instead of like dying brutally. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean though? <laughs> hey Carlos, knock knock, who's there? I don't- I have nothing. I was gonna give you guys a knock-knock joke, but I've got nothing. Rest in peace, dude. Rest in peace. What we got over here? Ooh, another alien. Oh, um, perfect. Beautiful. Good job, girl. Put that in your inventory. Kill this chick that's crying over here. Who are you? Oh, this is my aunt. Oh my gosh, why are there so many of my, uh, family sims in this let's play what the heck is happening see when a sim dies other sims just come on over so it's easy for us to uh can you please stop mourning seriously marabella seriously also a lot of you guys were like really pissed that i kept saying that the grim reaper was evil or whatever and that um, he's actually a kind soul and he's supposed to guide you into the afterlife or whatever. Oh no, Lilo! You came to the wrong party, girl. Yes, you did. Oh no, Marabella officially has a bad reputation. <gasps> oh, I wonder why. I wonder. Oh my gosh, you guys. When she kills someone, her eyes change. Watch right here. <gasps> they turn white. Oh, that's freaky. Oh my gosh, I keep reaping this chick, 
But she won't die. What the heck is that about? Honey. You are not immune to death. I'm sorry, but you're not. Oh my gosh, are you serious? She survived again. Okay, that girl is insane. I don't know what the heck's that about. Okay, there you go. You maxed the reaping skill, my love. Congratulations. It only took... Let's see. 27... 31 deaths. 31 kills for you to max it. Pretty intense. Pretty intense. Okay. What the... Oh, Servo's- oh my gosh, Servo's being romantic with, uh, Lucifer. How funny is that? Alright. Let's go. Time for you to max your skill. Bada bing! Bada boom! Oh, Juniper, honey, you need to get out of here. This is, uh, this is not for you. Death surrounds this house, y'all. There have been so many deaths on every single corner. <laughs> No one knows- I mean, everyone knows not to walk around here anymore. Okay, Lucifer just needs a few more. And they will both be ready to go to move out with Grim! Moving with Grim. Oh my gosh, he just killed Lilith. Oh, awkward. Sorry, Lilith. You just walked by at the wrong time. Okay, one more, Lucifer. Good boy! By reaping and collecting souls, Lucifer has finally reached the pinnacle of his dark powers, becoming the perfect assistant for the Grim Reaper! Besides that, Lucifer can now summon fire to reap sims, purchase a new reaping set, and use the collected bottled souls to acquire emotions depending on the soul type? Very interesting. Okay, so the babies are super hungry. I'm gonna get Brenna to serve all so she doesn't have to cook. This freaking banquet table is so clutch. <laughs> So clutch. Marabella, what the heck are you wearing? Oh, your workout gear. Okay. Well, there's a guy just standing there, Evan. So let's, let's see. Death Angel, Shadow Realm Shop, purchase a reaping set. <gasps> Mythical underwater reaping set, divine. Okay, I'm just going to get them both because I am really, really curious. Oh no, Caleb showed up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yo, who are you? Are you an alien? A vampire? Oh. oh, that one's cool. He turned into a... He turned into a mermaid. Okay, that was pretty rad. Not gonna lie. Oh, he was a vampire. Oh my gosh. Sorry, dude. Oh, 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 here's someone coming. Let's just... Let's try out the, um, the other reaping set that we got. Oh no! It's Theo! Which is- what? Which way is the way to the beach? What the heck? Uh, Divine Reaping Set, Steal His Life Essence. I'm very curious. Look at you with your smoke. Love that. Oh, it's just like a big old gold scythe. Wow, that was pretty dope. Okay, guys, so they are done. They have maxed their reaping skill. Aw, Servo. Oh my gosh, they just have- they don't have a good relationship with anyone, do they? Oh my gosh, this laser thing is so cute. Why have I never used this before? Aw, oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and move out Marabella and Lucifer. Super sad to see them go, but we need to have the rest of the babies. I don't know if we can actually move them out with the Grim Reaper. I think we might have to move them into their own house and then add Grim to the household after that. And I will definitely do that, but say goodbye to Grim's babies. It was nice knowing ya. Definitely two of my favorite kids. This build, oh my god, it's freaking massive. Look at all those roofs. Oh, I forgot to take pics. Okay, I'll do that right now as well. I always forget. It never fails, guys. It never fails. All right, here's what we got going on for the Grim Reaper, uh, Grim Reaper photos. So, 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 what the, oh, here we go. Not really sure what the heck happened to Grim, but he looks like, 
normal. Um, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. He's probably all messed up for me adding him to family and removing him to family and taking away his Reaper trait and re-giving his Reaper trait. Or maybe he's not the Grim Reaper anymore because Maribel and Lucifer are. All right, let's see, guys. Let's have a look. Looks great. Love it. I'm pretty sad that the Grim Reaper isn't all Reapery, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. And Maribel's wing is penetrating his chest. <sighs> Looks quite painful, I have to say. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, beautiful guys. Very good, very good, very good. Next. Next, next, next. Wow, I am honestly shocked that this photo booth is not glitching. It's giving me no issues. Beautiful, you guys. Absolutely lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, got the photos. Everything is good. Next on the list. Uh, next on the list, next on the list, next on the list. Maybe you should put this food away before it goes bad. A whole chicken, ceviche, spaghetti, macaroons. Oh no, spaghetti, that was from a different day. Okay, so let's go ahead and invite over the flower bunny and have them flowery bunny babies. Very exciting. Did we ever look at what the flower bunny looks like underneath the suit? I don't think we did. Servo baby's room looks like it's taking up so much electricity. <laughs> Bye bye see ya oh some of you guys are asking me if or what we're gonna do with servo once i move out the servo babies and you know what servo is gonna go with them so no more servo oh god servo no go away servo go oh gosh oh gosh can you just like sit here please and not go in this room? I really don't want you to be heartbroken again. Can you nap? Oh, you can recharge. Okay, go ahead and do that. You guys, I think we have a problem. I have been having them, they have a full romance bar and they're both flirty, but for some reason they can't woohoo. Did I like not, did I oversee that? Did I not realize that you can't? Woohoo with a bunny? Like, why? Is it another Grim Reaper situation? Okay, it looks like I have to add the bunny to the household. Why is it so freaking hard to do everything in this game? Holy crap. Okay, I have to add the bunny to the family and then I have to initiate the woohoo with the bunny. Okay, bunny. Okay, bunny. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Please work. Yes! Try for baby with Brenna. Patchy, you are happily playing at the dollhouse. You you keep on doing that, okay? Do nothing else. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Bunny babies. So let me tell you guys, I was scouring the net for bunny CC. And let me tell you, that is the hardest freaking thing I've ever done. There's nothing for toddlers. I mean, there's a few things for teens, but nothing for toddlers, like. So I don't really know how these toddlers are going to look. I tried so hard, you guys, you don't even know. I tried to find bunny ears for toddlers. The only thing that I could find was a bunny, like, onesie that has ears on it. So we're probably just gonna have to resort to that. If you guys have any bunny CC, please link it to me, either in a direct message on Instagram or leave a comment because, oh my god, I was getting so frustrated and really sad, like, I don't know. I just uh, have a feeling that these babies, they're not going to be very special, so yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. Take a pregnancy test, Brenna. Let's see if you are pregante with them flower babies, okay? Let's see. Oh wow, she's feeling really good after that woohoo. That's my girl, Preg Ante. Okay, so let's see what you got for traits, Mr. Flower Bunny. Let's see. Cheerful, vegetarian, and bro. That's a little bit weird. A bro bunny, but okay, sure. Aspiration Master Mixologist. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. All right, so I say that we go into create a sim, have a look at what he looks like underneath the bunny suit, and then we can speed up the pregnancy, have the bunny babies, try and give them their toddler makeover. Oh, okay, this is him. Wow. Super, uh, super cute for a Maxis sim, for sure. All right, well, let's just get out of here. <sighs> so we need to cheat her pregnancy. She's pregnant with one female, one, one female right now, but one male, one female, okay. And then pregnancy phase in labor, in laboratory. All right, let's have her go to the hospital and have the childs, the childs. Uh, yeah, we usually join her. That reminds me, I need to look at names that you guys suggested in the comments. Yay, Dr. Evil! Can't wait to kill you, I'm gonna say that every time. <laughs> you guys left some really good suggestions, lots of beautiful flower names, but I really like Max and Ruby. <laughs> that was a show about two bunnies, and I think that would be honestly really, really cute. Max and Ruby, Ruby and Max. I don't even know if I said that right. It's been so long. <laughs> so long since I've seen that show. Okay, honey, no, no TV. I need you to check in. There you go, check in at front desk. This Max and Ruby show came out in like 2000 something. I don't know, I think I was like, how old was I? I don't know, I was young. <laughs> So I watched it. <laughs> if you guys are uh, a lot younger than me, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it was just an uh, animated show about two little white bunnies. It was really wholesome. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ruby it is. I actually really like that name. It's really cute. Okay, and you guys know that I'm obsessed with the name Max if you watch my Legacy Challenge. So there you have it guys, Ruby and Max, Brenna and Flower Bunny had twins. Love to say it. Max and Ruby, Ruby and Max, Ruby and Max, Ruby and Max. Okay, <laughs> put the babies over here as per usual, and we will age them up and see what we can do for them in cast. I am not optimistic, not even a little bit. Servo's like, dude, more babies, where did they even come from? Max and Ruby, Charmer, how perfect, very, very perfect. All right, Servo, step away from the baby, please. All right, Ruby, oh my god, they're both Charmers. Mm, so dang cute, I'm obsessed, just obsessed, guys. Absolutely. All right, let's head into cast for a little while. See what we can do. Let's do Max first, da boy. Okay, so bunnies. Gosh, I don't even know where to start, you guys. Like, no clue. I guess all we can really do is just make them soft. Spring, spring vibes all the way. You know? Okay, this hair is really cute. I've never used it before. I kind of like it a lot. What else do we have though? Hmm, mushroom head. Oh no, this one's mushroom head, 100%. This one's cute too. I actually really like that hair. Max and Ruby, oh my god. I'm gonna be singing that all freaking day, guys. Ruby and Max. <laughs> I actually don't even think it matters what hair I choose because the bunny outfit is... It has a hood on it. Oh my gosh, the heterochromia looks so cute. Pink and green, very spring colors, am I right? I think we might have to do it. I think we might have to do it to them. For the teeth, we're definitely gonna do these. They don't look as bunny teeth when they're toddlers, but when he ages up... I got bunny teeth. Like when your two front teeth are like significantly bigger than the rest of your teeth. You know what I also have, you guys? I downloaded these ears. I thought that maybe, oh my God, that's freaking terrifying. I thought that maybe some of them would resemble bunny ears. I mean, those kind of do, but they're also really elfy. These ones kind of do, like a floppy eared bunny. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them though. 
I think that's gonna have to be a no from me. Yeah, it's just a little too, a little too, I don't know, elfy, I guess, Super supernatural? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I was feeling it with Lucifer and Marabella, but not so much these babies. Okay, so let's see, let's have a look at that uh, full body bunny suit thing. Um, here we go. Yeah, see, it has a hood. Still, su he's still super cute, but uh, I love his hair. Dang it! Can't believe this is our only option. I mean, I could put him in his like Sunday best as well. Guys, I just don't know. Guys, I don't know. I'm just so torn. This is more bunny than, you know, the other thing. But the other thing is also so, so very cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess I'll give him this for his everyday. And then for his sleepwear, I'll give him the bunny thing. Then you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments if you think that this full bunny suit for his everyday is super cheesy or not. I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. Also, let me know how you guys feel about the ears as well. It makes him look not like a bunny, you know? Not That's definitely not what I uh, expected. He just looks... Like an alien or something. Not so much a bunny. Okay, guys. Well, that's all I can do for him. Let's move on to Miss Ruby here. Aw, she looks like a small old lady. <laughs> Maybe for her eyes, we can do this, like, watermelon, like, half ha half and half eye type thing. Um, Max had the one eye being one eye, different color than the other eye. This bean can have half and half. <laughs> so for the little girly here, we can have her have, like, a bunny... Like a double hairstyle that kind of looks like a bunny, I guess? If I can... Let's see. Let's see what we got. There's this one, which is pretty intense. I'm not a huge fan of this hair, but that's an option. There's this one. <laughs> this one fits too, but if I'm being honest, I hate this hair. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. Oh, this one! This one looks like little ears. Okay, we might have to do this. Okay, I also gave her a different skin tone that looks a lot less gray. This was the one she had before. I cannot wait until they fix the skin tones in this game. We have to give her this thingy in some kind of flowery print for sure. Oh, that's it. That's all we got for prints. I guess this one. I downloaded this dress because I thought it was super spring and super Easter-y. So we can do that. I downloaded this bunny dress. It only comes in one swatch. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's this bunny dress as well. Oh my god, cute. This one has eggs on it. <gasps> Probably that one. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is really cute. Oh my gosh. This is such a cute onesie, you guys. This is from Onyx Sims. Um, I'm trying to find the swatch that just screams spring to me. Shoot, I don't know. I guess this one? Okay, let's do this one and then let's change the swatch of the little bow in her hair. Man, guys, this was an absolute fail. There is nothing. Freaking nothing. No CC for toddlers for like bunnies, which kind of surprises me. I couldn't find any bunny ears for toddlers. Actually, no, I did. But I tried to download it and Sims file share was down and that was the only way I could download it. So I might have to download it before next episode and add it on them then. Uh, but yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get for now. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. So underwhelming. Oh, we can put the little bunny shoes on her, though. Real cute. Should we give her Easter basket? <laughs> like she's gonna go hunt for eggs or something? I don't know. I just, I don't know. And don't ask me why I have that... <laughs> that basket CC, okay? I just do. Bunny bun bun suit bun bun buns. All right, here's her little hot weather outfit. It's actually really cute. You know what? 
If I can't find bunny ears, what if I could find like a um a flower crown? Not necessarily run with the bunny theme, but run with the flower theme. I didn't even think of that until now. All right, guys, here's Ruby and here's Max. Ruby and Max, let me know what you guys think of them. Let me know what you think of the ear CC and all, all the other stuff that I mentioned. You know what? I think we have enough room to have more babies in this episode. <gasps> Holy cannoli, but I didn't prepare. What do we have left? Island Elementals. Ghost. Oh, you know what I wanted to do actually? Oh yeah, the plant sim as well. What if you guys had this really cool idea of um, going and finding the hermit in Granite Falls and turning him into a plant sim? So maybe we can attempt that. For the rest of this episode. All right, Brenna, it looks like we're going vacationing just us. She probably needs a freaking break anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I actually really enjoy going to Granite Falls. When I first bought Outdoor Retreat, oh my gosh, bought two, I uh, never went camping, but now I always go. All right, let's stay at the green getaway for, let's just go for two days. I think that should be enough time for us to find him. So basically the hermit is, I'm looking at my other screen. The hermit is an NPC in the Sims 4 outdoor retreat that lives in the hermit's house, the secret area in Granite Falls. They are randomly generated at the start of the game. They appear to be a Sim that has lived alone with little, to, little or no contact to the outside world. Wait, why did they come? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Mm-mm. How do I send them home? <laughs> Shoot. Ugh. Oh, well. At least we have Servo to look after them. And it's freaking storming, which is just lovely, isn't it? Okay, so in order to get to the Hermit, the first thing we need to do is go to this little stand right here and click Explore Woods. Okay, and then it'll take you to the little travel -y thing. And you come over here to Granite Falls Forest National Park. Where the hermit lives, it's actually considered like a secret world. Like, you know, with the tree thing, the, um, the Selva Dorada stuff, all that good stuff. They're like secret worlds. So this is considered another secret world, which is pretty cool. So you're gonna come over here and find this little building. I don't even know what this is. Like a... I don't know. I don't know what this is, but find the building that's at the national park and then face the building like in this direction. This direction right here. And then you go up diagonal to the left, I guess, to find- I've never done this, I just watched a tutorial, but you go up this way to find the little opening. So once you get to these like boulders right here, there should be- yes, here it is! <gasps> Okay, let's get her to teleport over here. Explore. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so new to me. I'm sure it's new to a lot of you guys as well. <laughs> let's go, Brenna. Let's find that hermit and make him fall in love with us because that's what we do. That's what we do best. Exploring the brambles. Surrounded by thicket, thorns, and danger, most assuredly, Brenna is left with only one decision. Step forward or retreat. Definitely step forward. Uh, after several minutes of hacking furiously through the brush, a large web is blocking Brenna's way. One would prefer that web is not paired with the spider. Indubitably. Uh, shoo, I don't know this one. This wasn't in the tutorial. Find alternate route. Oh. Gross. Fire leaf, that's just lovely. Okay, let's try this again. That didn't go well. Okay, step forward, go through web, sally forth, Brenna has navigated the nigh foiling foliage to discover a secret cove, a cove containing a mysterious sim. Travel towards the sim. Okay, there we go. So if you get the web thing, travel through the web, sally forth, keep going, just choose the option that will progress you. <laughs> In the tutorial that I watched. Oh, that's nice music. Apparently you can get attacked by a bear if you choose the wrong option, so don't choose the wrong option, okay? There's a bunch of rare stuff around here as well. Who's this? Scarlet John. 
Wait, are you telling me the hermit has a woman? Wow. I thought the whole point of being a hermit was you didn't don't socialize with anyone, like, ever. Okay, here we go. Here's the hermit's house. Okay, it's quite cute. I love all the plants. Aww. Okay. Wait, was that the hermit? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it could be it could be a woman. I thought it was the same sim for everybody. Okay, 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 cool. The one in the tutorial was a was a man. So this is her house. Look at how cute it is. Leaf frog. This is honestly really dope. Aw, she's got a woodworking table. So cute. Okay, okay, honey, where'd you go? Okay, okay. Uh, flirty introduction. Let's turn it just- let's just turn it on right away, you know? Bada bing, bada boom. Turn on that charm. Hey, girl! What you doing out here all alone? This chick probably hasn't seen anyone in years, and Re Brenna just shows up out of the blue and starts being romantic with her. Oh my gosh. Wow. Compliment appearance. Uh-oh. She. I think she got poison ivy, didn't she? Is that what fire leaf is? Dang, she likes us guys. That was so easy. First kiss already? It's been like 30 seconds. They kind of look like sisters, not gonna lie. Aw, yibs. Hermit kissies in the rain. Love to see it. I love it. I wonder. Where's your house at, Miss Hermit? Oh my gosh, we can woohoo. Let's go! Aw, oh, it's snowing now. So cute. Brenna lives a crazy life. This is probably Hermit's first woohoo ever. All done? Okay, okay. So... I think maybe... I think maybe we should add her to the family. And then turn her into a plant sim once we get back home. I wouldn't know how to do it otherwise. Okay, yep, let's go ahead and do that. Add to family. Okay, darling, let's let, let us have a look at your trade traits. Loner, erratic, loves outdoors. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. And she had no relationships, but since I added her to the family, like she knows everyone in our family. It is time to return home, um, and then we can figure out how to turn this little lady- Oh my god, they just went through the fireplace. <laughs> So very Harry Potter. Um, right. Let's figure out how to turn her into a plant sim, because honestly, I have no idea. Something about magic beans. So we could always cheat a sim into being a plant sim, but I kind of want to go through the process, because that's also something that I've never done. Okay, so what we need is the magic plant stump and all of the magic beans magic plant sim stump okay there you go um and then we need the beans from debug oh my gosh you can just buy the tree that grows from the stump <laughs> okay let me just place that there uh because i cannot find the beans for the life of me in this debug menu there are just too many things in here ah here they are here they are here they are okay okay Angry bean, playful bean, that's playful, right? Yeah. Sad bean, <laughs> uncomfortable bean, flirty bean, and confident bean. Okay, okay. So let's see. Let's see. All right. Water. I just want to see if the tree will grow right away or if we have to wait. If we have to wait, then I'll just go through the one that we placed. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was beautiful. It grew right away. And look, the beans are still- Oh, this is so cool. Okay, okay. Explore. So, this takes you to another secret world, and then you have to get the forbidden fruit. Yeah, the forbidden fruit. And then you have to eat the forbidden fruit, and that will temporarily turn you into a plant sim. There's no permanent plant sims in the game, which I think is really lame. But... It's fine. It's cool. No worries. We can, we can pretend. There's lots of pretending in this Let's Play, I'll tell you what. This is taking a long time. Oh my gosh. Why? Okay. 
Step through the portal, there was a greeted by a bright sunny pasture, a tree stood off one side glowing and bearing fruit. Brenna plucked a fruit from the tree and immediately found the sunny landscape disintegrate into darkness. Before she knew it, she had stepped out of the tree's portal with something in her pocket. Okay, so it's not a secret will, she's got the fruit in her inventory. Um, here it is. Here it is. Eat and become like the plant sim. Okay, let's give it to homegirl here. Scarlet, darling. Can you eat this, please? Here she goes! She has turquoise hair. That makes me really want the babies to be turquoise haired as well. Would you look at that? Her hair even changed and everything! Scarlet ate the forbidden fruits? Okay, don't panic. It'll be alright. Just try and act natural. No, really natural like a plant. Drink lots of water and stay in the sun and she will flourish and photosynthesize, which will replenish her hunger. Keep in mind that as a plant sim, she won't need to eat regular food. Thankfully, that also means she won't have to go to the bathroom either. Well, that's cool. Very cool. Five days. Okay, it looks like she'll be a plant sim for five days. Not really sure. Not really sure. All right, Servo, where are you? Put Max to bed. Okay, go ahead. Brenna, let's um, let's go. I thought the flower bunny was here. <laughs> let's go ahead and woohoo! Hmm. Shoot, we're gonna have to remove her from the family. Hmm. Dude, why are you? Fr why are you freezing to death? Come inside. <laughs> I think that we are going to save the plant sim baby for the next episode. So, okay, so basically in the next episode, what we're gonna do, Scarlet John. <laughs> okay, Scarlet John. So we're gonna uh, try for baby with Scarlet and then remove her from the family and have the plants and babies. And then, oh, actually in the beginning of the episode, we are going to be aging up the servo babies into teens and giving them their teenage makeovers, which is super exciting. And then hopefully by the time I film this next episode, I will have different <laughs> flower bunny CC for the toddlers. If not, they're just gonna stay the way that they are. Oh my God, aren't they just so cute though? Aww. Them in this little room. It just works, you know? It just works. And Servo, you're the best nanny ever, I have to say. Always taking care of the babies. So, yee! And, oh! Um, for Servo's baby skills... I can't remember what we decided on. I'm pretty sure it was programming and yeesh i forgot what was it oh maybe we could do video gaming since we've already done rocket science and we've already done robotics or dj mixing i don't know or logic hmm i think probably dang it we should have done freaking robotics for them because obviously you need robotics to build a servo, so it just makes the most sense. Okay, we'll do programming and we'll do video gaming then. That's pretty much it. I need to find some plant sim CC for toddlers as well before we have those babies. And I think that's it, you guys. Please let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of their bedrooms. Let me know who your favorite pair of babies has been so far. It's very exciting that we're getting things done though. Like, I can't believe we were able to turn the hermit into a plant sim. I thought I was going to run into some troubles. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys so much. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Help me get to 100k. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!